Well, we're here at the famous sea caves at the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore. This is a shoreline where kayakers love to come, both because it's very secluded and, as you can see, because of the sea caves, although here we're in the winter. Over the last four years, two kayakers have died there. They put in at Myers Beach on the shore, which is very calm, or at least a, a nice uh, sandy shoreline. When they get out here, they're surprised because the waves reflect off, off the different cave configurations, they amplify in the caves, and they get caught out here and then they tip over. Both of them were experienced athletes and they were not unaware of the weather forecast. The waves can be pretty mild and look, look safe, and by the time they come around here to the sea cave area, at times it can be very treacherous and very dangerous. They just underestimated what the impact would be on them in that location. And if you know anything about Lake Superior, the water is frigid all year long. And so it doesn't take too long for you to catch hypothermia. We would be so much better off if we knew somehow what the conditions were at the caves right now. Real time information. Um, but we've never really dreamed that we could do that. I'm Gene Clark, I'm a Coastal Engineering Specialist with Wisconsin Sea Grant Institute. I'm Chen Wu from Civil Environmental Engineering at UW-Madison. So, as you can see that uh, we drill a hole here, and uh, this is a pressure sensor, and let me pull it out. Chen and I are designing a wave system that the waves can be measured, and then kayakers or anyone who's interested in what the conditions are like here can go online and tell instantly whether it's one foot waves and choppy or mild or in between. And this pressure sensor basically measure the water level and in addition measure the water level fluctuation for us to measure the wave information. As you can see from here, it's a pressure sensor. So we were working with Gene on some dock related projects around the park. Out of that came the genesis of we could work with Sea Grant and the University of Wisconsin to develop a real-time wave observation system. Okay, when I move the pressure sensor, it, dis it disconnected. So what we're trying to do is uh, monitor the waves and post it to a website so kayakers and park rangers um, can, can know when, when there's dangerous conditions. This system now will run via cable and be up on land mm -hmm. in a somewhat remote location and then transmit the data from from on land. When I see the buoy on the top. We think it will save some lives. 